We're good. All right. All right, here we go. Game two at Eichenwald. All right. Let's scoot over. All right. All right, Eichenwald. An exciting map. I think I like that first kind of like choke point defense. Yeah. Kind of forces teams to really focus on how to break through this defensive team. What I find the most interesting about this tournament so far is the complete lack of variance. We keep seeing the same heroes over and over again. Yeah. Roadhogs. A lot of Roadhogs. Always Reinhardts. Always Reinhardts. Yep. We're not seeing anybody really bust something unique out. The We're not seeing Torbjorns, no, no Sims. No Sims at all. No Sombras. I mean, I'm... This we, one, I, I'm surprised. The only... Uh, the one hero that I am... That I only see switching out is their DPS, who they're using for their DPS, and then Tracer comes in and out, and that's about it. Absolutely. It's not exactly what I'd expect for the amount of variance of the players we have here, but, you know, I think people want to stick with meta picks, things that are consistently known to work. We're going to see if it pays off for them. Now, we got a little bit of a dive comp, a but dive barely. Comp. One of the main components of a strong dive comp, though, is a Genji. Not having a Genji is not going to allow this dive comp to work. Dan's a great Pharah. If Dan wanted to execute this as a true dive comp, I think we'd be seeing more of a Genji instead of the Pharah. Every time Genjis get a kill, they refresh their swift strike. It's 50 damage. It can be a lot, especially with a Winston on your team. You dive together, pick up some kills, and just steamroll their healers. And eventually win. Yeah. We'll see if they're able to make it work. Dive comp really is strong in the beginning, but if it's shut down, you're gonna have a really hard time making it happen. Gotta reorganize fast. Yep. So the Zen is a new pick for Lowe. He was playing Anna last yeah, time. Yeah, he was Anna last time, but they still uh Do they not oh they do not have any Anna. That's they do not, but you know that? Discord orb is going to make it really hard for a dive comp to work. I mean, that might have been the reason why they went with it. Yeah, it's the first person that pokes through. They're going to be able to shut down a little, a little faster than normal. Absolutely. Got Rex always quick to die there. We'll see what this Winston's able to do. Winston's got to get to the back line, get rid of that Zen. But like I said, yeah, how is he going to get in there? Orb, yeah, it's going to be hard. Well, here we go. All right. Doodle is charging Zarya. Right there, he's in the back there trying to get some picks there, bouncing around. Yeah, well, wind is making a little bit of a dent right now. There we go. Wind okay, picks up those okay. kills. that'll be definitely helpful. And he's oh, uh, Winston's able hard. to really oh, good move by Free Straws. Yeah, there. Free Straws made a good choice on pulling that all then, even though it was really only hitting that Winston, I believe. That's all that mattered though. Yeah. Completely cleaned them up. Here they go, they're collecting again, coming back, using that shield, pushing back to the bridge, and there we are back. Wow. Well, Zarya's got her alt here too, which is a big, I mean, as soon as they try and pull that move again that they just did, they better be spread out. We'll see what, oh. Yeah, wind is coming in, or that's uh, water. No, wind, wind and fire. Yeah. It's all right. Wayne's got his shield broken, trying to make something happen. Ooh, misses that charge. Still have to cause some problems. We got that Zarya all popping off back there. That's Where did that land? Where did that land? Kill. Wow. For Team Fire. Who really big he, ult. Who's, who's the Ignite? Is that Will? Someone's playing on the Ignite account. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hard to know it's when they Shoot. use the alternate names. Yeah. A really good alt there is going to keep him shut down. Team Fire is holding this strong. We got a minute and a half left on the clock. That's they're definitely starting to feel the pressure now. Good fire, look at that. Zarya just chipping away without a lot of resistance. Whoa, she's almost up to 100 charge. Yeah. If you're that high. Wow. Not a whole lot you okay, can do. But well, there we go. Narazini cops yeah, it. Yeah, but they had to take advantage of that. But they're they're not. Whatever this Zarya is, I feel it's like a, a ninja here to to team. <laughs> Had to look at my Chi-Chi. Another team wipe for Team Fire there. That's really going to hurt. Yeah, that is. And you know, not only does it hurt, it hurts the morale, too. As you just start to lose your ability yeah. to counter or do much anything, you can see Team Fire on fire. On fire. Get a really strong, dominant team in this, in this team, this matchup. They're definitely coming back with a vengeance. They lost the last game, and they want to hold this point now. And they're yeah. doing it. 
like, we are not gonna lose this match. Switched over to Tracer, trying to get behind, not gonna make it through like that, sadly. Dan trying to just get some damage done here. Well, Wind is, I mean, they've got the pieces set in place here. They just cannot get a pick. There goes Rota, another missed hook. Gotta break that shield down, and then it's free hooks all day long. Yeah, here we go. Oh, we're gonna off. deal that Zarya, but good all by Dan, or good oh, heal by Dan. Another, another Zarya ult that looked to be pretty effective. Wow. Pop the results, they got 10 seconds left. We got an opportunity here to run in there, and they're just not able to push into it. I mean, Wind has got an opportunity, and he's not able to get it. Would so. you say Wind got the wind knocked out of him that round? They definitely would have, I would say. Ooh. Strong play by Wind there, trying to make a comeback. Yeah. We're gonna be able to see if they're able to do anything here to, to defend it. I mean, we could be looking at a draw scenario. It's definitely a hard point to hold, or it, I'm sorry, it's a hard point to take as the defense can be strong. And again, we didn't really see them commit to the dive comp like we would want them to. If you've got the Winston, if you've got, you know, this Pharah move, you can really make something happen. But if you start to lose it, you're just not gonna be in good shape. That's all I really had to say at that point. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> you, can just, you guys can just look at us now for a little bit as we wait for our teams to prep. All right, so we finally get a little variance on these teams. So oh, let's, I think uh, I see a May in there. All right, let's switch back and see what we're dealing with. So we finally got a May, which is shocking to me on these hard choke points. This would have been a strong play really early on. Probably would have helped them defend these points. I think this May is going to really be strong here. I uh, this is an ideal match for her. I'm really surprised that we didn't see this. I guess they didn't really need it, but you'll notice Team Fire has nothing that's actually going to circumvent this May. They all need to go through it, and that's not a good position to be in. They don't have a Farah, they don't have a Diva, they don't have a Genji, they don't have a Hanzo, they don't have a Widow. They have nothing that's going to go above this. Yeah, they're just, they got to go straight on, and that's very tricky to do here. We know Dan's a strong player. He's going to be able to split these walls. It's going to be hard for him to make it through here, so we're going to see what Fire is able to do. All right, all right, so here we go. Fire coming out. One big thing that's going to be important is Rexaw being able to get those hooks early on. He's going to break it up. Every time you effective. hear that cling, there, there we is. go. It's all through. right. Yo, we're going to see that. Oh, misses the wall. Wow. All right. Almost trapped him. So now we're going to be in a tough spot here because Fire is going to try and take advantage of that. Fire's like, now we got some time. We bought ourselves some time. Three straws, though, trying to make something happen. He's in a really dangerous position. They need to exploit this. If he stays up, that's going to be bad. Yep. Yep. Fire's just starting to walk right through him. Not looking good. Hand goes down. Looks like Fire Team is going to be able to take this one. Wow. Really quick comeback on Eichenwald here. Good play by Fire, and that's going to be it. Wow. Really quick comeback no, there. Hit it. We got ourselves another 1-1 one, one wow. match, though. Yeah, we do. Oof. Wow, wow, wow. Oh. That was fast. Science. Really good play, so very strong. Fire show. I mean, this was the domination we saw last week out of the Fire team. Yeah. That's just sort of rundown of the other team. Didn't have a whole lot to do with we're gonna see who walks away with the play of the game. Hey, so this is go. the Ignite 14. Whoever, we gotta figure out who this was yeah. because they had an unbelievable play here. Now this is actually see. the one that we missed, right? Yeah, I think we were looking is, in the other corner. Yeah, this is the one we missed. Oh, no, 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 this wasn't the offense. This is the ending one. This is, oh, a, okay. this is the offense. Really good picks there. We're just really on fire aim. I mean, yeah. that was great. Great play. That was great. I'm curious to know what his average energy is because I bet it was high. All right, I'm gonna drop off this and we're gonna get ready to fire up All our right. last game so our last of the game. night at Oasis. 